Rachel Edwards from right here in Amarillo, Texas, and I'm a painter my entire life. I tend to mix things that probably most people wouldn't mix. Just two extremes, fine art and spray paint street art together. That's been the current theme. So that might be what, what you don't normally expect. I go from anywhere from, like I say, Renaissance. Caravaggio is a big one based on my palette. And of course, Michelangelo's work. Um, the technicians are just incredible. I, I have a pretty eclectic range of people. Um, funny enough, one is David Bowie. <laughs> um, I, I've been, I was obsessed with him when I was, you know, fifth grade, sixth grade, and, and then I just kind of learned about him a little bit deeper and what he did. Um, constantly changing, constantly adjusting. Um, so he was actually probably more the character of, of everything that I've done, underlying everything that I've done. All the way up to, you know, the street artist Banksy, and I got really into him just because of um, the lack of fear. <laughs> you know, when you really think about it, that, that took a spine to do some of those things, and I loved that. I loved jumping off the cliff and seeing, you know, I guess more so hoping the tide comes in before you hit the rocks. <laughs> I have a really big love for the urban kind of scene. I always wanted to go to New York. And the, the big thing were the alleys that were just full of, it wasn't just graffiti, it was literally humongous paintings by what I would say were technicians. They're just incredible and it's all in spray paint. So I thought, well, we've got alleys, you know, and we've got graffiti. I just got bored. I got so tired of the same old thing. And you ended up, you have, you do a lot of art, you have a show, you drink wine, eat cheese, and it's over. You do some art, you have a show, you drink wine, you eat cheese, it's over. So I, I just felt kind of this need to, to really change things. This is actually a third installment. I've tried it a couple times. And the first one was, was more along the spirit of, of street art, really Banksy-ish, huge social statements. To get into that, I really dug into how we treat each other on social media, and, and it actually ended up making me almost physically sick. When you really look at it, we can, we can really treat each other pretty bad. I think that was the problem with the first one. <laughs> because, they, you know, you kind of get looks and the, the head tilts, and um, of course I was asking people to come and meet me in an alley at nine o'clock at night. That probably had a little bit <laughs> to do with the lack of attention. The, the third installment in this show is going back to something that's beautiful. So this entire show is huge details of the Sistine Chapel. And it, I took it so extreme that they, it actually looks like a show of portraits. I just took people off of the Sistine Chapel that I could find and did literally portraits of them. If there's anything from prophets to um, some of the Sibyls to, and of course I, I have to have the creation of Adam, that, you know, you got to know where you are. What I ended up doing was, I, I think there's a huge amount of respect that needs to go into a gallery. The main thing about that is that the attention is, is specifically on the art. The lighting, the, the color of the paint on the walls is for the art. You know, everything says art is really important. But with street art, you, you also have a, this serious freedom about it. There's no rules, there's no boundaries. Anybody can be a part of it. Um, and if you find it, congratulations, you're a part of the audience. So I mixed both of them together and I had the classical uh, works of Michelangelo with a really street kind of feel of cardboard and it's a little on the ephemeral side. Um, whatever you find, you paint it, that kind of idea. And so you put them together and you ended up getting the back alley gallery. And I saw it in my head first. I really didn't know what it was going to be, when I, but I could see it in my head. And when I did it initially without anybody, and it got dark, and I could see all of the paintings in the light, it looked exactly like what I thought it would be. It was the experience that I wasn't expecting. So when you added people, it changed it. It completely changed it. It made it an experience. But when the sun goes down, the, the solar lights come on. That's all that you see is the artwork. It's not anything but what you're a part of after that. 
because all you can see is the artwork and then the artwork becomes important. And then maybe there's a little bit of a little bit of attention to maybe what street art actually is. For me it's more like breathing. I can't not make art. It's it's an obsession. It's um, I get up in the morning and you know and I start making art. That's what I think about all the time. So it's more like just having lungs. That's pretty much what art is to me.